the gross rate. 47%. I've seen bagel shops do better. More. How many paychecks did you send today? 202. Turn right wall. If you're considering applying to the Startup Acceleration program and thinking if it's even worth it, which one is good for you and how to get in, this video is for you. My name is Anastasia Green and this is Get Funded 101, the place where you can get funded. Founders often come to me and ask, should I apply to the accelerator? And the answer is not as simple as I wish it could be. Honestly, for you to make a decision for your company, you need to consider your stage, your location, and your current traction. And if you're looking into the acceleration programs, you need to look into what it will give you, where it is located, and if it will connect you to the right resources. In the case of the acceleration program, you should start with understanding where, which one you should get in first. Are you at pre-accelerator stage? Should you go into the accelerator? Or do you have chances of getting into the top accelerators of the world? So where I would start and I would advise you to start is understand what is your current traction? What are your chances of getting into the top acceleration programs? If you're a good match for them or not? And will they give you what are you looking for? Let's touch on the subject of your stage. If you are in idea stage right now, accelerators like 500 Startups or Y Combinator are not going to be a good match for you. And you want to look for pre-accelerators. Those will help you to get from idea stage to your first traction. If you already have your first sales, your first customers and your first users, first of all, good for you. And it's also a great place to try and to get into the best acceleration programs out there, like 500 Startups, Y Combinator, Techstars, and the rest. They will try to get you from your first sales to your fast-paced growth, and even maybe to your first investment. Even if your company is already at the growth stage and you have solid traction in your current market, but you want to enter a new market, an accelerator could be a good way in. What do accelerators actually give you? Well, if you're at idea stage, it's kind of like a boot camp that will motivate you to move forward faster. And the rest is obviously industry connections, mentorship, the program itself, access to the investors, and also opportunity to grow much faster. As a bonus, some of them might even give you cash, usually in between $25,000 to $200,000. Speaking from personal experience, I'm mostly connected to 500 startups. I'm a mentor there and two years ago my startup was a partner of 500 startups in San Francisco. And I have to tell you, it's really amazing when you have an access to this community of entrepreneurs and you just get this inspiration and a spirit that pushes you to grow faster. And of course, the most important question is how to get in. Most of the accelerators are getting from hundreds to thousands of applications per each batch. For example, acceptance rate of Y Combinator is lower than 1%. I want to give you five tips that will help you to get in. Let's start with your application. Trust me, you want to spend your time creating that application. Run it by your peers, by your advisors and your mentors. Make sure it's as strong as it can be. Most of the accelerators will ask you to send them one minute video and your pitch deck. Of course, you want to be at your best performance in that video and you want your deck to be as sharp as possible. Maybe hire somebody to train you to pitch on video and somebody to help you to create that pitch deck so your chances can grow. Another thing, you want to get support from the within of the accelerator. The way to do it is to reach out to mentors and alumni. Alumni usually have an option to vote and support applications. Of course, you want to get one of those votes for your application, or maybe even three. Let's imagine you passed the first part of the process and now you're getting ready for the interview. Your job is to be 
as good as you can at that video interview. And by the way, we made an amazing video on how to pitch your company online. Check it out now. And last but not least, trust me, you want to apply to as many accelerators as possible, because maybe you won't get into the top three ones, but even getting into number five or number 10 will move you forward. And after the graduation, you can still apply to your dream 500 or YC. So if you really want to get in and you want help with your pitch deck, your pitch, or your application, please send us a message through getfundedtools.com and I will be more than happy to help you. If you like this video, click that subscribe button below. It was Anastasia Green. Let's get you funded and see you next time.